Want and get, if you truly want it, you will get it. Published by Stoic IM Audiobooks. Chapter 1. How to Understand the Law of Mind. A simple but profound truth lies at the heart of all changes, whether they are small or large. Our thoughts have power. This fact is shown by the law of mind, which is an idea that is as old as thought itself. But what does the law of mind really mean? It's basically the idea that our mental state, our thoughts, beliefs and focus, has a direct effect on the course of our lives. This idea is not new, it has been around for a long time and has shown up in different ways in different cultures and times. The second lesson is about the one skill that all great people have. No matter where they come from or what they do for a living, all highly successful people have one important skill in common. They can take thoughtful, effective action. No matter what skills, mental traits or benefits they have naturally, People who work hard at their goals have a unique ability to make their plans and ideas come true. Athletes carefully follow the training plans that have been set up. Scientists are very careful when they do tests. Smart people test their ideas in markets in a smart way. A lot of people have trouble with analysis paralysis and hesitation when they are planning, which can keep them from acting. Great people, on the other hand, have a way of thinking and a method that helps them make daily progress by sticking to set habits. They build long-lasting energy that gets stronger and stronger over time. Part of the process is getting better at things, learning new things, and reaching your goals. Actions taken over and over again are what make people successful. It goes beyond reasons, inspires others, and opens doors to results. People who can constantly act, even when things are hard or unclear, are the ones who stand out in society. Over many years, this idea changed and grew, affecting leaders, thinkers, and mystics, and ultimately changing societies and ideas. Different cultures have different ideas about how our thoughts affect our lives. There is a lot of talk in Eastern beliefs about how powerful the mind is in making our world. In Western theory, the Age of Enlightenment put more emphasis on the power of reason and thought in each person, which is similar to the law of mind. All of these different points of view are beautiful because they all come back to the same idea. The mind is the most important thing in our lives. Whether you're interested in the self-reflection of Eastern religion or the logic of Western theory, the law of mind has a lesson that applies to everyone. You can change your life by changing the thoughts you have. The law of mentalism, which is part of hermetics, has one of the most convincing explanations of the law of mind. That the all is mind means that the world itself was made by the mind. This idea says that everything in the world is an expression of the universal mind, and our own thoughts are just parts of this bigger universal consciousness. What does this mean to you? This means that your mind is not just a spectator of reality, it is also a part of making it. The law of mentalism tells you to think of yourself as a co-creator of your world, where your views and feelings are not just things you feel, but things that shape your reality. The law of mind can be looked at through the lens of modern psychology, which is more grounded in facts, but just as interesting. Cognitive psychology, for instance, looks at how our ideas, how we think, and how we see things affect how we act and what we experience. Negative thought habits can make bad things happen in life, while positive thinking can make good things happen. It's not magic, it's the power of the mind, which has been proven by science. The self-fulfilling prophecy is another idea that comes up in psychology. This is the idea that if you think something will happen, you may unknowingly make it happen through your actions. This fits with the law of mind and shows how strong our ideas can be in shaping our lives. To bring these ideas back to you, the reader, the law of mind is not just a theory in philosophy or psychology, it's also a useful tool. 
Learning about how your thoughts and ideas affect your life is possible and it gives you the tools to change your thoughts for the better. The law of mind is the key to getting what you want in life, whether it's money, personal growth, or just a better view on life. If you learn and use the law of mind, your life will be filled with endless opportunities. Part 2. The Law of Attraction and the Law of Mind As we learn more about the law of mind, it's important to look at how it relates to the law of attraction. People often sum up the law of attraction with the term, like attracts like. This means that thinking good or bad thoughts can bring good or bad things into your life. With the book and movie The Secret, this law got a lot of attention, but it has much longer roots that are connected to many of the ideas in the law of mind. The idea behind the law of attraction is that our thinking can bring about things in the real world. It is a concept that says you should picture what you want and believe that doing so will bring it into your life. The idea gives people hope and a sense of being in charge of their own lives. Both the law of mind and the law of attraction work, but they are not the same thing. The law of mind looks at how a person's general mental states, including their thoughts, beliefs and emotions, affect their life and the world around them. The book is about how people shape their own viewpoint and, by extension, their outward reality. On the other hand, the law of attraction is more specific. It stresses the power of directed thought to bring about certain results. The law of mind is like a painting and the law of attraction is like paint. The setting for your ideas is your general attitude and set of beliefs, which is like a painting. Your focused thoughts are the paint that gives this canvas color and detail, making certain wants or goals come true. It is very important to understand this difference. What this means is realizing that even though positive thought, the law of attraction, is strong, it's your general beliefs and attitude, the law of mind, that shapes your life. Even though a positive thought is powerful, it's like putting seeds in dirt that isn't good for them if you don't have the right attitude to support it. Both the law of mind and the law of attraction are based on the idea that our thoughts and feelings shape our world. Thoughts are more than just ideas going through our minds. They carry emotional power that can change what we do, how we react, and even the chances we see or attract. A strong emotion, whether it's good or negative, is what drives a thought. A strong emotion-based thought is much stronger than a brief idea. For example, if you are constantly afraid of not having enough money, you might make choices that make your financial problems worse without realizing it. Instead, if you think about wealth with a real sense of hope and promise, you're more likely to do things that will help you make money. Having this idea isn't just wishful thought. It's about lining up your mental and emotional energy. Your feelings and thoughts work together in a strong way that can have a big effect on your world when they are in sync. When you pull a boat with the wind instead of against it, things go more quickly and you get where you're going with less effort. Keep in mind that change doesn't happen quickly as you follow these rules. It takes time and practice to change your attitude and make positive, focused thinking a habit. But it's worth the work. You can start to change your life in important ways by making sure your feelings and thoughts are in line with what you want to happen. Watch your thoughts and feelings as you go about your daily life. Take note of how they affect what you do and how you decide what to do. Set your ideas on what you want to achieve or experience and start to think about it. Develop good feelings around these thoughts. This is what it means to use the law of mind and the law of attraction to change your life. Part 3. Metaphysical Viewpoints – The Law of Mind in Metaphysical Traditions To fully understand the law of mind, you need to look into its philosophical roots. Metaphysics is a field of philosophy that tries to figure out what reality is like beyond what can be seen. This is where the law of mind grows strong. 
in the world of the unknown and the deep. There are many philosophical systems that see the law of mind as a link between the physical world and a higher reality that can't be seen. You can think of it as a secret thread that ties our thinking to the universe's fabric. In Eastern beliefs, for example, the idea of Maya, also known as illusion, says that our thoughts shape how we see the real world. In the same way, some spiritual parts of Western faiths believe in a universe that is linked and in which consciousness plays a major role. For you, knowing these philosophical points of view can be helpful. It gives you a bigger picture of how powerful your thoughts, views and ideas are. It's not enough to just change the things around you. You need to connect with a greater truth that applies to everyone. Through your thoughts and goals, you can connect with this greater truth and help make your life's journey. Quantum Physics and Consciousness Some readings of quantum physics have really helped us understand the rule of mind in a new and interesting way in the last few years. Quantum physics, the study of the smallest particles in the world, says that these particles act in ways that don't make sense. The idea that the observer's consciousness can change how these particles behave is one of the most interesting parts. You should know that the real world is not as solid and reliable as it seems. This is because the field is very complicated and is still changing. Instead, it's a world of options that can be changed by what you see and think. This fits very well with the law of mind, which says that your consciousness can change not only your own reality, but also the very fabric of the physical world. It's important to look at these thoughts with a healthy mind, though. Quantum physics is a very specialized area, and you can't just use its basic ideas in everyday life. On the other hand, the main idea that our view of reality is changing, and that consciousness is an important part of this, fits well with the law of mind. It's true that the law of mind has its enemies, especially in the scientific world. This is true of any idea that combines science and theory. Some experts say that the connections made between consciousness and quantum physics are just guesses and not based on real-world proof. They warn against making complicated science ideas too easy to understand in order to fit religious or philosophical views. It's important to keep these comments in mind because they help us stay grounded. The power of the law of mind doesn't come from the fact that it has been proven by science. It comes from the personal experiences and changes it has helped many people make. It's hard to say how well the law of mind works for everyone because it's a personal growth tool. As a seeker and student, this discussion gives you a chance to look at the law of mind with an open mind that is also smart. Take advantage of the idea's powerful parts but also be open to new information and points of view. Remember that getting to know the law of mind is about more than just reading about these interesting ideas. It's also about finding what speaks to you personally. To sum up, the philosophical views on the law of mind show that the things you think have big effects on the world around you. Keep the science arguments in mind as they invite you to explore the depths of your consciousness and how it is linked to the world. You can start this journey with a sense of wonder and an open mind, ready to find out how these old and new ideas can be used in your life to make it more fulfilling and clear. Chapter 4. Thoughts on Psychology Cognitive Psychology and the Law of Mind Cognitive psychology gives us a lot of useful information when we look at the mental parts of the law of mind. This area of psychology studies how minds work, including how we think, remember, see, and solve problems. Through it, we can see how our views, attitudes, and ways of thinking have a big effect on how we act and what happens in our lives. Cognitive psychology teaches us that how we think about things affects how we act and what we do, not the things themselves. For instance, if you see a task as a chance to learn and grow, you'll probably face it with hope and strength. On the other hand, seeing it as a danger can make you anxious and make you avoid it. 
This is where the law of mind and psychology meet. Your mindset, which is made up of your thoughts and ideas, shapes how you see and interact with the world. If this is true for you, it means realizing that you can change your life by changing more than just the outside conditions. You can make a big difference in the course of your life by becoming aware of your thought habits and consciously changing them to ones that are more positive and powerful. A key idea in personal development. The idea of attitude is very important in the field of personal development and for good reason. Your attitude includes what you think about yourself and what you can do. It changes how you see the world and where you fit in it. This is beautifully shown by Carol Dweck's study on growth versus stuck views. If you have a growth mindset, you believe that you can get better with hard work and persistence. This makes you more open and engaged in your life. A fixed attitude, on the other hand, means thinking that your skills and situations are fixed and can't change. This can limit your potential. The law of mind says that having a growing attitude is a good thing. Believing that things can get better and change for the better can help you and your situation. For you, this could mean rethinking long-held ideas about what you can do, how smart you are, and what you can achieve. Replacing self-doubt with self-efficacy means shifting the story from I can't to I can learn and grow. Neuroscience and Belief Systems Neuroscience is the study of the brain and nerve system. It helps us understand the law of mind even better. It reveals how our ideas and views can change the way our brain works. Neuroplasticity is the scientific term for this effect that shows the brain is not a fixed object, but one that changes and responds as we live. Your brain makes nerve paths for every thought and idea you have. These links get stronger the more you support a thought or idea. In other words, the way you think every day changes the structure of your brain. You can change the way your brain works by changing the way you think and believe. The fact that this is backed by science gives the law of mind a new dimension. The changes you make to the way you think are not just mental, but also neural. For you, knowing about neuroplasticity gives you power. It means that your current beliefs or ways of thinking don't hold you back. You can change the way your brain works to support new, better ways of thinking if you work at it over time and practice. In particular, this can help you get past limiting ideas that may have been holding you back. The psychological truths about the law of mind are both reassuring and energizing. The fields of cognitive psychology, the study of thinking and neuroscience all show how strongly your views and thoughts affect your life. They give you a plan for personal growth and show you how to use the power of your mind in real life. Remember that as you continue to study and use these ideas, you're not only changing your thoughts, you're also changing your brain and, by extension, your world. Understanding this is a strong tool that will help you grow, be successful and be happy. Part 5 how to use the law of mind every day. Not only is using the rule of mind a vague idea, but it's also a useful tool that you can use in your daily life. You can change your ideas, change your world, and get closer to your goals by using certain methods. For the law of mind to become a part of your daily life, use these techniques. Self-awareness. Becoming more self-aware is the first thing you need to do to use the law of mind. First, pay attention to your ideas and thoughts. Pay attention to the stories that go through your mind all day. Are they mostly good or mostly negative? In what ways do they show a growth mindset or a stuck mindset? Being aware of this is a strong first step toward changing any negative thought habits that are stopping you. Mindful reflection. Think about how the way you think now has affected your life. Think about the things that make you happy and the things that you want to get better at. Realizing the link between your thoughts and the things that happen in your life 
can inspire you to develop an attitude that supports your goals and dreams. Cognitive restructuring. You can start cognitive restructuring once you are aware of the ways you think. This means questioning and changing negative or useless thoughts. When you notice that you are talking badly to yourself, stop and change the thought into something positive and powerful. Meditation and Mindfulness Meditation and mindfulness are strong ways to use the law of mind. They help you clear your mind, calm down, and concentrate your ideas. It's about being in the present time without judging it. During the day, be aware by giving your full attention to everything you're doing, like eating, walking, or talking. Pay attention to what you can feel, what you see, and how you feel inside. Being here with them can help you get out of autopilot mode, which is a place where bad thoughts often happen without you noticing them. Being mindful goes one step further with meditation. Setting aside time to clear your mind and calm down is part of it. Regular meditation can help you feel calmer, less stressed, and able to focus better. It also gives you a chance to direct your thoughts consciously so that they are in line with your plans and goals. Adding breathwork to your awareness and meditation routines can make them more successful. Simple breathing exercises, such as deep belly breathing, can help you feel less anxious and bring your attention back to the present, which makes it easier to think positively and clear your mind. Use of visualization and affirmations. You can use visualization and affirmations to reach your goals directly with the law of mind. Visualization means making a mental picture of what you want to happen. There's a feeling of being in charge of a movie in your mind, where everything goes perfectly. This method isn't just thinking, it's a practice in which you clearly picture yourself reaching your goals. Visualization helps athletes, business leaders, and great people in many other fields do better and reach their goals. You can say positive, powerful things to yourself over and over again to support your views and goals. They should be said in the present tense, like the goal has already been reached. For instance, I am confident and successful in my career. Saying mantras every day can help reprogram your subconscious mind, which can change your beliefs and actions over time. Making these methods a part of your daily life. Consistency is key to using the law of mind. Make these things a regular part of your life. Time should be set aside every day for awareness and meditation. Affirmations can be used in the morning or during breaks during the day. Visualization is best done when you have some time to yourself, like right before bed or first thing in the morning. Keep in mind that these techniques aren't just things you need to do. They're ways to change your life and, by extension, your mind. Allow yourself some time as you start to use these techniques. You might not see changes right away, but if you keep at it, you'll start to notice changes in your thoughts, feelings, and eventually your life. You're not just looking for a better life when you use these methods. You're making it happen. Your thoughts and dreams are becoming real because you're using the power of your mind to change your reality. So, try these things with an open mind and heart and see how the power of your thoughts changes your world. Chapter 6. The Law of Mind and Making Money the attitude of creating wealth is much more than just getting money. According to the law of mind, what we think and believe has a big impact on how much money we make. Having the right chances or working hard aren't enough to get rich. You also need to develop an attitude that is open to and in line with wealth. A good and aggressive attitude to financial growth is something that many wealthy people have in common. When other people see problems, they see possibilities. They focus on answers instead of problems. You have to work at having this attitude. It doesn't just happen. It means changing your attitude from one of lack, which makes you focus on what you don't have, to one of abundance, which lets you see the wealth that is available to you. 
Many of us have limited beliefs about money from our childhood, such as money is the root of all evil, or you have to work hard to make money. These beliefs can subtly thwart our attempts to improve our financial position. The law of mind wants you to look at these ideas and question them. Find your limited beliefs. The first thing you need to do is figure out what beliefs are stopping you. Think about what you believe and how you feel about money. What false ideas do you hold about money and making money? Figure out where the idea came from. Often it comes from things that happened to you as a child, messages from society, or how your family deals with money. Being able to separate yourself from these ideas can help you understand where they come from. Replacing limited beliefs with powerful ones is what it means to reframe your beliefs. If you think, I'll never be wealthy, change your thought to, I have the potential to create wealth. This changes your attitude from one of lack to one of excess. The law of mind can help you with your money even if you're not a billionaire or a business mogul. First, make clear goals for your money. Think about reaching these goals not just in general terms but in great depth and vividness. Feel the thrill and happiness of reaching these goals. Make mantras a part of your daily life. You can encourage a positive money attitude with mantras like I am capable of creating wealth or abundance flows easily to me. Also, do things that will help you reach your goals. You can't just think about the law of mind, you have to do it too. Match your behaviors to your state of mind. Learn as much as you can about money, make smart investments and look for ways to make more money. When you want to create wealth, the law of mind says that your ideas, beliefs and behaviors should all be in line with what you want. You can start on the path to financial success by getting rid of limited ideas, having an attitude of wealth and learning from people who have already done these things successfully. Remember that making money starts in your mind. Develop a mindset of wealth and see how your money situation changes along with it. Chapter 7. How to live a good life with the law of mind. A developed mindset that shapes every part of your life, living happily is more than just a feel-good motto. According to the law of mind, the things we think and say to ourselves have the power to change what we experience in the outside world. So, having a positive mindset doesn't mean ignoring the problems you face in life, it means facing them with an attitude that sees the good in them and the room for growth. Start developing this attitude by paying attention to what you're saying to yourself. Have you ever asked yourself if most of your thoughts are positive or negative? Are you focused on what you can do or on what you think you can't do? Changing this bad inner conversation to a positive one is one of the most important things you can do to live a happy life. Problems and bad things will happen in life, but the law of mind says that how you deal with them is very important. It's not enough to be cheerful when things are going well. You also need to be able to turn bad things that happen in life into chances to grow. First, accept and understand your problems without judging yourself. Keep in mind that these problems don't show how valuable or capable you are. Instead, try to see things in a different way. Think of problems as chances to learn and grow. Asking, why is this happening to me, can be replaced with, what can I learn from this? This shift in viewpoint can turn a situation that seems bad into a way to grow as a person. Also, keep an open mind that is focused on finding solutions. Try to find answers instead of focusing on the issues. When you take the initiative, you stay positive and take action, which makes it easier to get past problems. There are a number of tactics that can be used to help you maintain a happy frame of mind. First, make it a habit to be grateful every day. Spending time to think about what you're grateful for changes your focus from what you don't have to what you do have, which makes you feel like you have plenty. Positive statements should be a part of your daily life. 
You can change your negative thoughts into positive ones by saying things like, I can handle any challenge, or I choose to see the good in every situation. When it comes to forming your attitude, the people and places you spend time with are also very important. Surround yourself with good things, people who make you feel good, things that excite you, and places that make you feel alive. Practicing awareness and meditation can really help you keep a happy attitude. They help you stay in the present, which lowers stress and fear, and they clear your mind so you can stay positive. It's also important to do things regularly that make you happy and satisfied. Doing things that make you happy is important for a good life. This could be a hobby, working out, or spending time with friends and family. Seeing things clearly is another useful skill. Every day, picturing good things happening with your goals and dreams not only keeps you motivated, but it also lines up your subconscious mind with the reality you want to create. This connection is very important because it lays the groundwork for making your dreams come true. In the end, using the law of mind to create a good life is a journey of constant growth and self-improvement. It entails cultivating and maintaining a positive frame of mind, using difficulties as learning opportunities and putting daily routines in place to maintain this outlook. Remember that the way you think has a direct effect on how good your life is. When you think and feel positively, you set yourself up for a life full of happiness, strength and satisfaction. Get started with this practice right now and you'll see how your life changes for the better. Issues and Limitations in Chapter 8 When looking into the law of mind, it's important to be aware of and understand the problems and restrictions that come with it. This understanding not only makes the law more useful, but it also makes sure that spiritual views and practical needs are both taken into account. Managing expectations is one of the hardest parts of using the law of mind. A lot of the time, people come to this law hoping for big and instant changes. Changes in thought processes and the development of these ideas into real things, on the other hand, happen slowly. You have to be patient, keep going, and really understand that change, especially mental change, takes time. Getting to know the law of mind is like taking care of a yard. Regular care and attention are needed, and the results of your work might not be obvious right away. Don't give up on your habits, and have faith that the changes you're making in your mind will pay off in the end. Another big problem is how easy it is to fall back into old, negative thought habits. A big problem can be that the mind tends to go back to old ways of thinking. One big problem with using the law of mind is that people tend to think negatively again and again. Our tendency to do this is not just a habit, it's deeply ingrained in our minds. Figuring out why we fall into these habits is important for breaking them and using the power of positive thinking to change things. People who think negatively have a psychological trait called the negativity bias that is built into our brains from the time we were born. Early humans had to be more aware of possible risks in order to stay alive, which made them naturally more sensitive to bad things that happened or threats. Unfortunately, this tendency is still a part of our minds, even though threats look different now. The comfort of habit is another reason why people fall back on negative thought processes. There is some comfort in knowing things, even if they are bad. This is especially true for thoughts that are bothersome or not helpful. Breaking out of old habits takes work and can be scary because it means going into mental area you haven't been to before. Mental health problems and stress can make bad thoughts worse. When someone is stressed, it can be hard for them to think clearly and positively. When these conditions are present, negative thoughts can make symptoms worse, which in turn causes more negative thoughts. Figuring out these deeper causes is the first thing that can help you stop thinking negatively. It's important to remember that this tendency is part of human character 
but it's not a fixed part of who we are. By learning more about ourselves and practicing mindfulness, we can start to notice when we're getting into these habits and choose to think more positively. Writing in a journal, practicing awareness, and meditating can help you with this. Writing in a journal helps you get your ideas out into the world and look at them from a different angle. Mindfulness and meditation can help you separate yourself from your instant feelings and give you a space to watch your ideas without judgment. It is important to include these techniques in your daily life for them to work. When you practice consistently, your brain slowly changes how it works. This can make negative thought patterns less powerful and help you develop a more upbeat and adaptable attitude. To sum up, the tendency to fall back on negative thought patterns is a complicated problem that has roots in our natural past, our daily situations, and the way our minds are built. To deal with and change these habits, it's important to understand where they come from. Being aware and reflecting on ourselves on a regular basis can help us get rid of bad biases and develop an attitude that is more in line with the law of mind. This will lead to a happier and more fulfilling life. As you work toward your goals, these habits will help you stay focused and stop old patterns from coming back. Taking action is very important for moving forward. You can close the gap between your thoughts and your actions if you have a clear goal. You just need to be determined, bold and smart. People's relationships don't get the attention they deserve in our busy world, even though they are essential for success in every area of life. Building relationships based on trust takes time and work, and it can't be taken for granted. Even the smartest people may not be able to reach their full potential without a strong network of support. Everyone wants to be deeply seen, valued, and understood. But these days, a lot of people see relationships as transactions, as ways to get what they want. The Magic Minute is a way to improve your relationships with other people. This means giving someone your full and positive attention for just 60 seconds every time you talk to them. Look the person in the eye, listen carefully, and show that you understand them through your words and actions. Accept and celebrate their natural health and intelligence. Just one minute of real presence and connection can change everything. It can strengthen relationships, build trust, and spread kindness, all of which can pay off in the long run. Show that you value other people on a daily basis to make progress. Feel the power of relationship as you work your way to success. It will open up new doors for you along the way. We often feel the need to come up with complicated and detailed plans when we want to make a good difference in people's lives. Still, the most important ideas are very simple and focused. Think about products that changed the world, like the light bulb, the printing press, or medicines. Each one dealt with a different issue in a way that was easy to understand. In the same way, the best models for solving problems like poverty, injustice and sustainability tend to be simple and easy to understand. They fix the problems at their roots instead of just the signs on the surface. Simple, easy to understand ideas tend to get around faster. To get people to act, you need to communicate clearly and directly. Leaders who can make hard problems seem easy can inspire and unite whole countries. We make it easy for our products to be used on a bigger scale by keeping things simple. We can make progress by reducing and simplifying the methods we share, getting rid of any parts that aren't needed or cause confusion. Be clear and direct about your method if you want to make a good difference in the world. Ideas change when they are shared in a way that makes them easy for people to understand and want to join in. Third lesson, this is how to make your thoughts better. To turn sudden inspiration into useful innovations, you need to carefully consider and improve your first ideas. A lot of artists ignore opinions that could really help them make their work better, which is stupid. 
Working alone might seem like a good idea, but it keeps us from hearing different points of view that could help us figure out if our ideas are possible. It is very important to work together, even when things are hard. Instead of seeing critical viewers as enemies, you should see them as useful partners on an exploration trip with you. Ask other people to give you honest feedback. They might be able to see flaws and blind spots that you don't. Personal views can sometimes show up in feedback, so it's important to carefully consider the ideas given. As long as we are in touch with our inner knowledge though, feedback can help us come up with better answers. Visionaries support ideas that can grow on a big scale and are open to comments that can help them improve. Allies help us develop our ideas into strong new products that get people's attention. People are afraid to act because they don't want to make mistakes and are waiting for the right ideas. Still, the most successful and wealthy creators in history were willing to deal with flaws in order to get ahead. They knew that even simple ideas that haven't been worked out can be very valuable. What people said about their ideas helped them get ahead by being the first to do something. They put exciting goals ahead of perfect execution, providing simple goods that showed ideas and made a name for themselves in the market. At first, their ideas might not have seemed like the best ones, but over time, they turned into valuable platforms that built whole businesses. Instead of putting poor ideas out there right away, the real danger is hiding them for a long time. Feel free to share your unique thoughts and artistic dreams with everyone. Promoting openness, encouraging teamwork, and having a fail-fast mindset are all ways to make progress. Some of the ideas you share today could become huge successes tomorrow. It takes more than random bursts of imagination and understanding to successfully bring ideas to life. We can be successful if we share our thoughts and work together to get creative. But some people don't want to share their ideas because they're afraid of being stolen, so they keep their best ones to themselves. Still, the pros of being open and honest far outweigh any possible cons of sharing information. Sharing ideas with many people opens up a huge number of new options because different people can see and change them. Each and every thought that is shared has the power to make someone better. Getting enough quantity to meet demand is important. Clear communication builds trust and gets people behind your ideas so they can come to life. Successful business people and creators share their knowledge and work together with others who share their interests. Movements that change the rules do well. For good by accepting critical comments without fear. 4. Don't get into half of the trouble you're in with this. Life's hurdles can sometimes put us in tough spots that make things worse. We often have too many things to do, think too much about even the smallest choices, and feel stressed out from all of our duties. Many of the problems we have are caused by the fact that we make things harder for ourselves instead of dealing with situations that happen in other places. To find the answer, you need to keep things simple. Make your plan easier to fit in the things that really count. Get your daily jobs in order to stay focused on your bigger goals. Simplify cluttered areas and busy plans to feel more energetic. Cover and deal with the root reasons in a clear way, skipping over complicated surface issues. Get rid of things that aren't important to you and focus on making decisions that are in line with your values and goals. Break down your fears into steps you can take right now to help you deal with problems. Don't make things more difficult. Break down things that look hard until they become clear. When we step back and don't try to figure out how something complicated works, we can understand it on our own. Simplify your relationships, habits and goals for a new, more direct way of thinking. Adopt simplicity and clarity to keep your skills from being harmed by pointless problems. Most of the time, trying to control or change someone by force doesn't work because we all naturally don't like being forced. 
Many people with good goals, though, make their calls to action less effective by using direct methods that don't work with how people naturally act. To make progress, everyone must be able to work together and actively take part. You shouldn't try to force them to do something. Instead, you should approach it with understanding and teamwork. To give people the tools they need to reach their full potential, it's important to know how important both those who are willing to receive help and those who have a clear goal are. Instead of putting demands on people from the outside, you should focus on meeting their current wants and driving them. Try to understand where people are coming from and help them move forward in a gentle way. Do what your beliefs say you should do instead of just talking about them. Bring out the fire in people who share your values by shining your inner light. Success isn't measured by flashy shows of power. It's measured by how willing others are to keep working on your goal. A more effective way to make changes that last is to use gentle reasoning instead of force. As other people try to reach their goals, help them along the way. Help individuals find their own unique ability to soar with happiness. Lesson 5. Learn how to praise people like a pro. It seems like a lot of people are jealous and critical in our world of comparison, while genuine admiration is hard to find. Giving and getting praise in an open way can have a big effect on both people, bringing people together and inspiring them. Make it a habit to recognize and appreciate other people's skills, achievements and efforts without any secret purpose or doubt. Respect that each person has their own special skills and a wide range of potential. First, let people know when they're doing something right by noticing it. A feeling of mutual respect for our own unique gifts grows when we recognize and praise the good traits and actions of others. Putting the focus on the good always leads to better results. Start seeing the beauty in everything that happens to you. Learn how to give and receive praise in a game that makes everyone happy, inspired and better off. Feel your world change as praise comes from you like it's your very being. Achieving long-term success and happiness is easy when we accept that all parts of our lives need to be in balance. There are times when we set clear boundaries between our family, health, work and goals. But if you want to be successful in the long run, you need to include these important things in a well-rounded lifestyle where each part helps the others. When everyone is on the same page with their goals and interests, the energy of the group grows and gets things done. Putting our relationships with others and our own health first will help us build strong, helpful groups without getting tired or angry. If volunteering and giving money to good causes drain you instead of inspiring you, you might want to try a different method. Together with others, you can reach common goals and gain from the relationship. To avoid getting burned out, find a good mix between work, play and rest. To live a full and worthwhile life, you need to find the right mix between material goals and a higher purpose. Make sure that every part of your daily routine works together smoothly so that the power of unity can fuel your own meaning of success every day. Do not forget that we can pick and choose what we learn. Even though there is a lot of sensationalized news and clickbait stories out there, it's important to stay aware and choose carefully what we read. We can feel calm and hopeful by being aware of the news we read. Learn how to stay updated by actively looking for news that will help you grow as a person. Bring attention to interesting stories about regular people who face problems and deal with them honestly. Instead of reading scary stories, look for ones that make you feel good. Every minute, there are a lot of good things happening, but major media often focus on the chaos and division instead. But we don't have to believe every piece of false information that is spread without question. You can increase your own impact by sharing news that regularly fits with your views. You can choose what comes into your mind, picking wise and inspiring things and avoiding harmful programming that looks like news. 
take back control of the thoughts that form how you see the world and become your own reliable source dedicated to your ongoing personal growth. After moving to Silicon Valley for the first time, Sam had a hard time getting into the exclusive groups of powerful and wealthy founders. Even though he was a code superstar, he was humble, which was different from the loud and cocky tech bros who were common in San Francisco bars and conferences. Sam found a smart trick that let him easily open doors and get along with other people in the exclusive ecosystem. He changed the way he talked to people so that he focused on complimenting others instead of competing for influence. Sam talked to entrepreneurs at lively rooftop investor parties about their businesses, pointing out what made them special and new. Steve, the logistics optimization you built into ShipQui is truly impressive in its ability to adapt in real time. During casual networking over coffee, Sam talked about some impressive personal traits he had seen in people besides their professional accomplishments. Thanks for meeting with me, Alicia. Your bravery in starting a femtech startup is truly inspiring. Your kindness and honesty show in everything you do. Word quickly spread across the valley about the inspiring developer who helped people reach their full potential. A lot of people liked the praise guy because they were humble, smart and friendly. Soon, Sam was in high demand in the tech world and developers rushed to hire him to help them make their app ideas come to life. Powerful people rushed to be with him because he had a positive vibe. Finding and appreciating greatness was a skill shown by the perfect business mentor. In other places, Sam helped everyone he met, making a society where everyone was happy and successful. Sam became very wealthy by the time he was 30. He did this in a very special way. He learned how to get praise and play the game of making other people happy, bring about big changes. Don't forget that the law of mind isn't just about getting things done. It's also about developing an attitude that lets you live a happier, more worthwhile life. It's about getting in touch with yourself and the world around you more, which can help you find bigger meaning and relationship. Hold on to the understanding that your ideas and beliefs shape your future as you move forward. Accept the law of mind's power with an open heart and mind. Let it lead you not only to the results you want, but also to a deeper understanding of who you are and your huge potential. Finally, let this journey with the law of mind be a path of change that goes beyond success and leads to a life that is full, rich and satisfying. Keep looking around and getting better. Let your thoughts grow into a future full of endless options. Get rid of ideas that aren't useful. To make progress and find happiness, we have to face our limits and push past them, closing the gap between what we can do now and what we could do in the future. We can lose some of our skills if we don't push ourselves and test ourselves. When we are faced with difficult jobs, on the other hand, we tend to get sidetracked by unimportant things instead of working on ourselves. To be successful, you need to carefully consider the activities you do and tell the difference between those that are just for fun and those that help you grow and move forward. Getting rid of things that feed your ego, waste your money or serve no purpose other than short-term pleasure is a good idea. Stay away from screens that encourage false dreams and fake experiences. Instead, work on being able to focus and use all of your senses when you need to send important messages that really hit home. Don't let mindless things confuse you. Instead, break out of your boring pattern and wake up your mind. Your inner self wants interesting problems that require you to pay attention and take part. Find things you're really interested in that are so fascinating that they make you forget about everything else. Be aware and make sure that everything you do helps you grow as a person to get rid of any distractions and make progress. You will have to work hard, face obstacles and eventually succeed. You should be determined to face each day and use your strength and persistence 
to get through tough times. In today's world, where everything is linked, having specific skills is very valuable. To make a lot of money, you need to become an expert in an area that matters to you. Average people get ready for competition in entry-level jobs, but experts quickly move up to better jobs because they have shown they are the best. Famous doctors, scientists, engineers and business people have become very wealthy and influential by working hard to learn their craft. But having professional skills isn't enough to be successful in the long run. You should use these skills to teach others, share what you know and spark new ideas. Great leaders don't use their knowledge to make money for themselves, but to help whole fields move forward. Focus on doing important work that helps solve the world's biggest problems and you'll find success on its own. Get really interested in learning everything there is to know about your subject. Connect people from different fields to bring new ideas to areas that are stuck. Then, share and teach others what you've learned to give them power. Skillfully and determinedly, building pyramids and getting to the top of them can raise your status and make you more money. They are also a constant source of difficulties. Pick out a rock and start climbing it. Along the way, you'll learn useful things. The seventh lesson is that you can become great. People's steadfast drive has helped them overcome stubborn resistance and achieve every amazing feat that was once thought to be impossible. Visionaries who are successful have two traits that set them apart. They are resolutely committed to their goals and always ready to beat any challenges that come their way. Some people's goals may seem too big for them, but special people follow their big dreams because they feel a strong calling to do things that connect with their core. They take breaks from time to time to recharge, but their unrelenting drive keeps them moving forward and always trying to make progress. With unshakable resolve, they slowly get past problems that seemed impossible to solve by staying focused and working hard every day. Backward steps can't stop the strong energy that has been built. Throughout history, famous people have become famous by focusing on clear goals and going beyond what is normally thought to be possible. Adopt the ways of thinking that drive the great people of history to do amazing things. Find motivation in the need to deal with and get past big problems right away. No problem can stop you from reaching your full potential when you use the power source of energy and determination. No matter how well you plan, problems always pop up out of the blue that throw even the best laid plans off track. Instead of ignoring the chance of doubt, it's better to plan for it by including backup plans in important strategies. Make sure you can easily change your backup plans when it means the most by planning them ahead of time. You should be ready for unexpected events that might make you question your ideas and you should have plans for how to handle any problems that come up. Make backup funds like cash or extra goods to deal with things that don't go as planned. It's important to think about all the possible outcomes and be ready to handle problems as they come up when planning for the future. In this way, you can turn possible threats into doable problems instead of huge problems. Good leaders don't ignore risks that could get worse or cause problems. Instead, they face them head on and make plans to stop disasters from spreading. Dealing with uncertainty ahead of time will help you succeed in uncertain times. Train team members to do more than one thing so that you have extra help and can sell more. Goods and make more money. You can handle tough situations easily even when others are having a hard time if you use well thought out plans that can be changed to fit new situations. Practicing awareness instead of trying can help you feel more in control of even the most difficult tasks. Accept that you will have failures and unknowns from time to time. They can't hold you back with doubts or fears about the future. Instead of feeling swamped by the weight of each job, go into it with an open mind and a sense of wonder. 
show kindness and understanding of yourself when there are delays and be ready to make any changes that are needed along the way. Relax and enjoy the little things that happen along the way by taking your time and doing things with a chill attitude. Big goals can be reached by constantly taking each small step with excitement. This is because you know how stress versus calm presence affects finding answers. Being fully present gives you a sense of freedom, strength and grace. You can tap into this by doing everyday things with focus and attention. When we're stuck in cycles where we can't move forward, setbacks can really make us doubt that things will get better in the future. But giving in to problems only makes the pain last longer. People who have faith that growth will happen soon, even if it takes longer than thought, often make breakthroughs. The rules of nature back up this belief. Life is a steady ebb and flow with times of success and times of trouble. The natural path of the dark nights of the soul will lead to our next rising wave. But we lose our power when we think that the problems will always be there when they are only temporary. Conditions are always changing and this is something that you should keep in mind if you want to keep your hope even when things go wrong. It is important to keep trying to be successful. When things go wrong, stay strong by picturing the good things that your inner self thinks will happen if you keep going. Keep going even when you don't feel like it and wait for the wind to pick up again. It doesn't matter what problems are happening now, things will get better. The world is naturally set up to encourage growth and change, not to stay the same. During hard times, stay strong and think of a better future that is just around the corner. If you keep riding the waves to your final goal, you will reach the moment of change. After moving to Silicon Valley for the first time, Sam had a hard time getting into the exclusive groups of powerful and wealthy founders. Even though he was a code superstar, he was humble, which was different from the loud and cocky tech bros who were common in San Francisco bars and conferences. Sam found a smart trick that let him easily open doors and get along with other people in the exclusive ecosystem. He changed the way he talked to people so that he focused on complimenting others instead of competing for influence. Sam talked to entrepreneurs at lively rooftop investor parties about their businesses, pointing out what made them special and new. During casual networking over coffee, Sam told Steve, the logistics optimization you built into Shipquai is truly impressive with its ability to adapt in real time. Sam also talked about some impressive personal traits he saw in Steve, in addition to his professional accomplishments. Alicia, thanks for taking the time to meet with me. Your bravery in starting a femtech startup is truly inspiring. Your empathy and honesty show in everything you do. Word quickly spread across the valley about the inspiring developer who helped people reach their full potential, which inspired others. A lot of people liked the praise guy because they were humble, smart and friendly. Soon, Sam was in high demand in the tech world and developers rushed to hire him to help them make their app ideas come to life. Powerful people rushed to be with him because he had a positive vibe. The perfect business incubator showed that they could see and respect the best in other people. Sam made everyone he met feel better, which led to a group of happy and successful people who lived together. Sam became very wealthy by the time he was 30. He did this in a very special way. He learned how to get praise and play the game of making other people happy. Lesson 8. Change feelings and events by changing what things mean. Instead of seeing talks as fights that need to be fought, see them as trips where everyone can work together to find common ground. There should be solutions that help both sides and are in the best interests of everyone when there are differences. Conflicts happen and last longer because people can't talk to each other well, not because their points of view are fundamentally incompatible. By looking into why people hold the views they do instead of stubbornly sticking to them, we can find surprising similarities. However, 
figuring out what the common goals are is not enough to guarantee settlement. We need to get rid of the old habits of looking for differences and replace them with new ones that actively look for points of connection. Asking questions that focus on shared goals instead of opposing points of view can turn tough talks into deals that everyone can work together to reach. Find new ways to bring together views that are at odds with each other so that they can live together happily. Think about how language affects feelings and use words that bring people together instead of those that divide them. Make things easier to understand and get to codes. If you can't agree right away, try changing how you describe the problems so that they can be seen from different points of view. Combining thoughts that are at odds with each other leads to progress. We can turn even the most difficult arguments into answers that work for everyone if we listen carefully, change the way we think about things, and look for common ground. Being truly confident and at ease with showing your true self is what gives you a strong presence. You don't have to think about how other people see you all the time. Stop judging yourself, enjoy what makes you special, and don't try to fit in with what other people expect of you. Instead, start by focusing on your skills and saying what you really believe without changing the truth to make other people happy. A strong sense of self-acceptance makes people easily show body language that builds trust and respect. Be sure of yourself and know that you have the skills and worth to handle whatever comes your way. Keep strong eye contact while you talk to show that you are sure of what you're saying and ready to stand up for it if necessary. Talk to people in a friendly but sure way and use clear examples to show that you know what you're talking about and that you mean well. Be brave and smart enough to question broken processes in a polite way. To get a better sense of someone, go beyond first views and find out their inner goals, wants and limited beliefs that might be stopping them from growing. Show that you can live an honest life and develop a strong mental awareness. Technical skills are important, but real leaders also have a deep sense of knowledge, humanity and honesty. Instead of expecting compliance, try to persuade people by appealing to their better nature. During big changes, you need to get used to new tools and ways of being. Roles, relationships and ideas that don't work anymore are getting in the way of growth, even though they may have helped in the past. Appreciate how past relationships helped you get through different parts of your life and be brave enough to let go of them out of thanks instead of nostalgia. When students graduate, they need to move away from the social support of college life and adopt a more responsible attitude. People who move to a new country give up their old ways of life and start living in a new way. You have to decide on purpose to give up the ease of old ways of doing things and face the challenges and unknowns that lie ahead with confidence, flexibility and a desire to learn. So you can focus on becoming the person you need to be. Let go of any old identities or things that bog you down. Get rid of old false beliefs about the world and yourself so you can move on with confidence to the next part of your life. You can either give up control and let outside forces decide your story or you can take charge and write your own. People tend to accept the society around them instead of making their own rules and goals when they are in new settings. Giving up control of one's important time to consensus or chance, on the other hand, can lead to bad results. As we go through life, days can fly by, and we may feel like we're not living up to our full potential because of outside factors. Find out how you can control your own life and make it what you deserve. Write clear and simple ideas that bring the potential of the future into the present. Let go of any ideas that are stopping you from reaching your full potential or giving others what you have. Having high goals means taking risks, but they can help you reach goals that you thought were impossible before. Every thought you have shapes reality in real time, so be careful and brave as you guide them until your bright vision comes true. 
accept your own independence and use your power to make amazing things happen. It was the end of Andrew's world when flames destroyed his family farm. The land where families had many happy memories was sadly burned to the ground in a terrible fire. Andrew's dad had hoped to give him the successful farm, but that didn't happen. Andrew felt hopeless and angry as he looked through the ruins, which were still full of painful memories of what he had lost. He felt like life was not fair to him. He had taken care of the fields, big oak trees, and rich soil since he was a child. Now they were empty and quiet, making fun of his once promising future. After some time, Andrew realized that even though the fire destroyed his things, their real value stayed in the love and meaning he felt for them. The land itself was still full of possibilities waiting to be found again. In his mind, disaster could be turned into a chance to start over. Andrew wanted to turn a permaculture eco-village into a safe place for families who had to move to learn about sustainability. Soon, the rebirth he had envisioned began to take shape as a huge group of people worked together to make the oasis grow. The damage gave people a new sense of hope and purpose. There was new life where Andrew had only seen death. After the most heartbreaking loss, the next year brought him a lot of happiness by changing the way he looked at things. Destiny and the land both got better. After giving it some thought, Andrew realized what the fire really meant. It taught him how short life is, which made him feel both humbled and free. During the trip, it gave me the courage to live and create without fear and without being tied down to temporary things. Crisis was a good place for blessings to grow. Somehow, Andrew was able to get a lot of people to help him clear away the trash and put down new dirt. They chose to keep a few burned-down family trees as monuments and instead planted lots of native plants and fruit trees that were watered by rainwater that had been collected and used before. Soon, shiny solar panels were added to the scenery to power the daily needs of the community. They built small micro-homes out of eco-friendly bamboo and recycled plastics, giving families a new place to live. Andrew was filled with hope as he saw how the farm had changed so beautifully. But an eco-village needed to care about more than just the environment. It also needed to care about money. He worked hard all day and night to set up a local system that could provide things, services and money for the people who lived there. They made money by selling beautiful things, they made themselves and planning eco-friendly vacations. They also used different kinds of money to make trading services easier. Andrew quickly built a successful model town that was good for both the economy and the environment. Even though terrible things happened, a lot of families moved to the town that its creative father made. Andrew's influence turned the farm, which used to be alone, into a bustling town with many connections. By changing how he saw life's problems, he found a lot of creative possibilities. Lesson 9. If you ask, you will get what you want. Being aggressive is important if you want to get the results you want. Setting clear, attainable goals and constantly looking for help from others to make them come true is how progress is made. You should not be afraid to ask for connections, partnerships, press or funding. People who are successful regularly ask for help, which helps them build strong relationships. They easily go after sales, funds, media attention and marketing deals, even when they are turned down at first. To boost growth, leaders from the Fortune 500 companies ask investors for advice. The leaders of the world are telling their friends to work together to solve the many problems that affect everyone on Earth. People who are making big changes in history through new innovations look for engineers to help them with their problems and early adopters in the consumer market. To get rich and successful, you need to get help from other people and use their resources, reputation and knowledge to your advantage. This helps thoughts gain speed that can't be stopped. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want or think that it gives you the right to get it. 
We give partners perks that are good for both of us, but the best way to share your skills is to ask without being shy. Make a list of your biggest goals and the people who can help you reach them. Then, ask them to join you in a way that benefits everyone and let's make the world a better place. Getting popular means making people feel like they are seen and cared about. It's important to remember people's names and find something nice to say about them. Call people by their names and praise them to build strong relationships that last. John, your graphic design skills are truly impressive. I can already see us working together on future projects once your skills become more well-known. Sarah, your bravery in speaking out against injustice is incredibly important in these troubled times. You're truly inspiring. When you thank someone for their contribution, it makes them feel like they're really important to you. If you say this line honestly in any situation, it will earn you respect, trust, and a relationship. As you build strong relationships with open-minded people who value your genuine interest in learning more about them, problems will start to disappear. After the first impression, feel free to share good feelings and make everyone more popular and successful. To move forward, we need to stop dwelling on the past and instead focus on picturing and making real the prospects of the future. Thoughts about the past can be helpful. Focusing on them for too long can take your energy away from the present. Don't think too much about mistakes, loses and results you can't change from the past. Each new day in life is a gift that opens up a world of chances to make things right. The future can't wait for you to be a part of it, but the past is only full of ghosts. Pay attention to the future and see how inertia changes into inspiration that moves things forward. Forget about past failures and unfinished stories about chances you missed. There are many things that could happen in the future, which means that we can replace old stories with ones about rebirth. Even though it's important to recognize the pain of the past, hanging on to it can stop you from moving forward. You can start over today if you let go of the past, are brave enough to face the unknown without fear or regret, and are willing to make things happen that are beyond our best dreams. People who are successful in many areas stress the value of four basic traits for long-term success. Constant focus, the ability to change, the ability to bounce back from setbacks, and a dedication to helping others and building trust. Get rid of things that are distracting you and concentrate on your most important tasks to make steady daily progress toward your objectives. They run systems that are made to quickly take advantage of chances that come up out of the blue by changing in real time. People see challenges as chances to get stronger and show what they can do. Instead of focusing on mean-spirited zero-sum thinking, Win-win partnerships encourage people to count on each other. Use the first way to get through opportunity zones by making your goals clear, getting better by improvising, showing that you can handle rough patches and encouraging everyone's success by winning their help and trust. Structure plans that include these key ideas can lead to great results. The idea of the middle way is taught in Lesson 10, in cases where there are a lot of problems, strong responses usually make things worse instead of better. When people are feeling strongly about something, they might make a choice that has unexpected effects. People who like things to be more clear, on the other hand, know how important it is to find a middle ground instead of taking firm stands. The old idea of the middle way says that the best way to get things done is to take a fair view that takes into account all points of view. Let's look at policy on climate change as an example. Some people want to keep things the way they are or go back to life before factories, but others want to take a more reasonable approach. To do this, practical steps must be taken towards sustainability, such as reducing pollution in a useful way and helping disadvantaged communities shift through relief aid. To fix a divided political system, it is also important to talk about real worries from different intellectual points of view, 
To make this happen, both progressive and conservative actions are needed to make sure that everyone has the same freedom, safety, and wealth. Trying to force one-sided answers on people always ends in conflict and anger. The middle way strikes a balance by bringing together different points of view through agreement. It makes hard ideas easier to understand and comes up with workable answers that take into account different points of view. People who are moral centrists still believe that the most effective way to achieve justice is through unity. Problems are like sharp knives. They can be dangerous if you try to solve them quickly, but they can also be helpful if you take your time. When there is a crisis, our natural tendency is to focus on the things that are scary instead of what is really going on. When we respond hastily to chaos outside, we attack without a clear plan, which makes things worse. But when you step back and look at problems as a whole, you can find a way to understand them better and get past the chaos on the surface to find an answer. By understanding how power works and how history affects us, we can safely manage known risks. With careful planning and clear communication, we can turn tough situations into ones where everyone works together. Each problem comes with its own set of chances and problems. You should be smart about how you deal with them and use the lessons they teach you to grow and get through things. Accept that life will give you problems and solve them. But it's important to think carefully about what's going on before moving quickly. Be careful in every case and make sure you know what's going on before you respond. Effectively use this knowledge to get good results that help everyone. Difficult problems can quickly bring down your spirits, blocking out all other thoughts and making it seem pointless to try to solve them. On the other hand, focusing too much on big problems can make success seem impossible. Goliaths are actually made up of many smaller pieces that work together to form the whole. Destroy huge institutions by weakening their bases little by little in small cracks. Do not let the first thought of how big a hurdle is scare you into giving up. When you look more closely, you will see a list of things you can do that will eventually beat it. Any problem can be solved if you are determined. Due to racial issues and the debate over the district's discipline policies, Latoya had to handle a tough situation as the head of a high school. Many minority families are worried about strict zero-tolerance rules because they say these rules have led to unfair targeting and too many bans of their children. On the other hand, people who believe in traditional values fought against changes, saying that they could make it okay to do bad things. People on both sides said that the other side's ideas were unfair. Latoya thought about quitting her job as principal because she was so stressed out, but she found a way to deal with her stress by practicing mindfulness. Instead of seeing conversations as divisive fights, she asked, what goals might different groups share, even if they disagree on how to solve the problem? Latoya talked to families from a variety of backgrounds in an open and honest way. She stressed how important it is to make sure everyone feels safe and respected by actively and empathetically listening. Even though their ideas were different, their principles were the same. With this knowledge, the fair middle road could be used to find a solution that worked for everyone. Restorative justice was successfully used for minor crimes, which increased responsibility and cut down on official bans by a large amount. Students had to stay after school to help teachers and fix ties in the community that had been damaged. At the same time, unhappy teens, who had been ignored for a long time, were given therapy. All groups have been helped by fair changes that honor common good qualities, but none of them have reached their single goal. At the end of the school year, conditions had improved to a state of peace. As an example of noble leadership, Latoya's school dealt with tough problems with calmness, understanding, and moral courage. Lesson 11. Don't worry about having to work hard to get what you want. When you're having problems, you should think about whether they are caused by a mismatch between your skills and goals. 
Check to see if you value getting other people's support more than finding your own happiness. Putting square pegs into round holes doesn't work, so don't bother. Make sure that your natural skills and the needs of the job market work well together. When your work is in line with who you really are, it's more fun. Issues may still come up, but they can teach you something if you have a clear and important goal. When problems don't show up as flaws in a person, but as situations that don't fit them, their character stays strong and they can do well in other situations. That being said, not everyone can reach the top of Everest, and not all roads have to lead there. Look for trips that not only lead to success, but also make you feel good. Even if you try your hardest to reset, you might still feel stressed and overwhelmed instead of driven and inspired. This could be because you hold harmful beliefs that put achievement above your mental health. When you can dance easily instead of using a crutch for a run, why bother? No matter where you are, have the confidence to go at your own pace without having to worry about always being successful. Life tells you to shine instead of just working hard all the time. It's important to use knowledge for it to have any real effect. Just like taking care of fruit trees in a garden, we all have natural paths that want to be explored and shared. Untapped skills and ideas need focused effort to grow. You will lose control of your life's results to chaos outside of you if you don't follow the methods, insights and routines described in this book. You can get amazing results if you are brave enough to put theory into practice. Regularly going back and going over the models, methods and tools talked about in this book should become a habit. This will help you remember them and make them a natural part of your daily life. Don't just understand success concepts mentally. Make them a part of who you are and how you make choices. Developing healthy habits like planning, self-discipline and building relationships can help you make big changes. Without any doubt, commit yourself with all your heart. If you have been working hard for a year and things haven't changed much, read these chapters again to find out what else you can do to make things better. If you work hard, you can expect your old problems to go away as you welcome your sudden wealth. When you enjoy the benefits of freedom, you become more great. Last lesson, secrets to success. Now we get to the last part of this guide, which will help you become a huge success in the world. Maybe you thought you were just normal when we first started working together. Your views held you back from what you thought you could accomplish in your life. Those stories should have been broken by now in front of a giant who is awake and ready to show the world their full potential. You can make a difference in many people's lives and escape a boring life by using the attitude shifts, strategic frameworks and creating tools that are talked about in this material. Anyone can reach any goal if they fully commit to creating a clear vision, learning the skills they need and staying determined. That's what makes truly great people different from those who don't care. There is a need for people who can think outside the box and do things that don't seem doable. Thank you very much for hearing, and we hope you liked the book. If you thought this book was helpful, please click the like button and share it with someone who could use the information and direction it gives. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to know about every new audiobook we put out. You can use this information to keep changing yourself and we're so excited about that. Have a great trip, and we hope to see you on the next one.